Today's daily recap is for Wednesday, October the 30th, 2024. Sam is dead, y'all. I'm all broken up. I honestly did not think it would affect me this hard. We, we've known that they were going to kill her off. We've known that. But to finally say goodbye to the character of Sam and Kelly Monaco, she's been around for, what, two decades now? And I was just a big fan of, of her and Jason. And it was rough. I mean, Alexis was talking to her. She was telling Alexis Dante proposed to her. She was happy. And um, they were hugging. Jason had Scout and Danny downstairs. He was bringing them to see her. Scout was in her um, her Halloween costume. She wanted her mother to see it. Um, and, you know, they were just talking and taking their time going upstairs, which is good because the kids didn't need to see that. Apparently, from what Alexis told Jason, they were just talking. And then her face just went white. And she goes, she looked over at me confused. And then she lost consciousness. Now, Jason had just bought the kids upstairs, up the elevator. And Alexis comes frantically, be, like being pushed out the room. She's frantically backing up towards the nurse's station, but she's looking towards Sam's room. And Jason saw her and she looked at Jason. So Jason immediately turned to Danny and he said, Danny, please take your sister to Kelly's and go get her some cookies. And he goes, she goes, what? But we're here to see mom. And he goes, Danny, please. And Danny caught a glimpse of, she saw, he saw Alexis and he goes, okay, okay. He goes, why don't we just get mom some cookies? The one she likes and scouts like, okay. So Lucas and uh, Portia, Portia's doing the compressions. Elizabeth doing the ambo bag. They brought in the crash cart. Lucas is doing the shocking and they're pumping her full of, of uh, I think it's epinephrine, uh, whatever it is, the adrenaline that they, you know, give you. And she's not responding. And they work on Sam for a half hour. And Lucas is still, and Portia's just been working, just like doing those, the CPR. And she finally goes, Lucas, Lucas, Dr. Jones. And he goes, no, no, we'll do it again. We'll shock her again. So she let him shock her again. And then she'd flatlined. And Elizabeth's looking up at Portia. And Portia's looking at Elizabeth. And she goes, Dr. Jones. It's been 30 minutes. And she used the medical term for it, but that she's just flatlined there for 30 minutes. He goes, she's gone. So Lucas has to call the time of death. And he goes, what could have happened? Everything went well. And she goes, I don't know. Perhaps it was an aneurysm or embolism, you know, some kind of blood clot. And so, you know, I guess for sure they're doing autopsy. Uh, to, to find out what happened to Sam. Um, you know, it's funny. A lot of things happened and I'm just going to cut a lot of that short because, you know, this kind of affected me, everybody. It did. It kind of affected me. Uh, this did happen. Michael wakes up with Sasha. They drank and drank and drank themselves into bed. So guess who was... was going to be understanding about Willow and Drew drinking on the 4th of July and kissing because look, him and Sasha, he was upset. Sasha's upset and they just do the doggone thing. And I thought, okay, Sasha's getting ready to get pregnant. That's 100% what's going to happen. Sasha has not been with the man since Brando. This baby is going to live. This is going to be Sasha's and, and Michael's baby. And that's going to be a division because see, Willow was with Michael with 
their little family. Now Sasha's going to have a little family. And we'll see how far Michael takes it because Sasha lets it. She tells him she knew about the kiss. And Michael says, okay, you know, you were friends with Willow. And she apologized for not telling him. He says, well, you were caught in the middle. He was giving her an out. And then she mentioned, and then the second kiss. And he goes, wait a minute, what? What second kiss? He says, see, I can understand the first kiss. It, it happened that, you know, psh, wasn't planned. It just happened. And Sasha said, yeah, you and I know a whole lot about that, don't we? And he goes, he goes, but no, no, no. A second kiss? Willow knew exactly what she was doing. But then he goes, when did it happen? And she said, that was the night that the congressman died. See, Michael, and I don't even have the energy I normally have for this, but Michael is going to start to remember, take his memory back. Willow turned her phone off. She was gone for hours before she came home, before Drew brought her home. See? But he says, no, no, that second kiss, Willow chose to do that. Because she had a pivotal choice and she chose to do that. And, she, and he's right. He's 100% right. Now, Drew just shows up at Willow's and Michael's and she's like, what are you doing here? Michael could be here, come home any moment. And he goes, I know, but I just had to check on you. And I'm just like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I just want to see, I just want to say I'm sorry. And I wanted to see, you know, how you're doing. And he walks in and she's like, well, like, okay, come in. But look, you cannot stay. I don't want my, if Michael sees us like this, it'll be bad. He goes, I know. And, and then that son of a stays and talks and that stupid chick lets him. She ends up letting Michael, I mean, not Michael, Drew explain because she, first she was like, how could you take a torch to my marriage like that? And he tells her why. And then she goes, oh, that they were black, going to blackmail him. And it was going to, that secret would come out anyway. And she was like, oh, almost like, okay, well, you had no choice. Okay. Okay. And I'm thinking, you know what, Willow, I'm done with you two through. Nina had her opportunity of telling her daughter and she should have told her daughter. Cause when that truth comes out, Willow's going to feel like the stupid gullible fool she is. Stupid gullible fool. So Drew says, I care about Michael. No, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, I'm I'm crying. I'm cursing. <laughs> you know, like, no, you don't. So needless to say, she says, I'm going to tell Michael everything. You, he, uh, He goes, you told me not to tell Michael, yet you were going to tell Michael. And then he told him why. So he goes, she goes, well, okay, when Michael comes home, I'm telling him everything. And he goes, Everything like what? You're going to tell him about your feelings for me? I'm going to tell Michael everything. I'm going to tell him about the second kiss. I'm going to tell him because the only way for us to move forward is for the truth to be out and for us to work our way back together again. And Drew says, don't tell him. Don't tell him about your feelings. See? And Willow's just looking at him wide-eyed. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I won't. See? And now he knows about the second kiss. So when she doesn't tell him, he's going to throw her deceit in her face like there's no tomorrow. I don't feel sorry for Willow. I truly, honestly don't. Um, there was a whole scene that I fast forwarded because with Sam's death, the whole Maxi and Cody scene just meant nothing to me. Uh, before Sam coded, Trina and her mother were talking, that meant nothing. OK, so November sweeps has begun, everybody. And boy, has it begun with a bang. And the one thing I am going to say from Comic Corner yesterday, as I was, you know, glancing through them, I found out that beef steak is actually a tomato. I did not know there was a tomato called beef steak because we're talking about BLTs. Somebody brought up beef, beef steak. You know, I was going to make a joke about it, but I just can't tonight.
I I just can't. So anybody, you know what? I I can't even concentrate on Comic Corner tonight. Um, I'm gonna have a glass of wine to relax myself because this was very emotional for me. Very emotional. So I'll be back tomorrow with another daily recap. I will have collected myself by tomorrow um, of General Hospital.